everybody, welcome to the Ron Line Report. Today's guest, any of you who have followed the sport and the industry for any length of time, already know who he is, but let's introduce him anyway. He is the pro maker, all the way from New York, George Farah. How are you, George? What's up, brother? I don't think they know me anymore, bro. Oh, you know, like, you know, I, I got sick a little bit. They thought I was done, but guess what, bro? Yeah. They're going to be seeing a lot of me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kai Green's coach, Branch Warren's coach, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's coach for a while. Yes, sure yes. Many, many, many others. Two, we could be, it would take a half hour just to roll through the list. Well, 17, Arnold, when, you know, so many. No, you know what? It's, it's not about this, bro. It's about, uh, I love the sport. And, you know, with me being, you know, bodybuilder myself, I think it makes me a little different because, you know, I step on the Olympia stage, you know, a few yeah. times. You know what I'm saying? So I, I went to the Olympia three times. That's what make me entangled with my clients. And I know how they feel because sometimes like I hear some crazy stuff, man. Like, well, you know, some client, they, they call their prep guy and stuff and then they don't reply till next day or they, that, that's, you know, bodybuilding, like stock market, man. And every two hours sometimes can change. You know what I'm saying? You can crash quick. So you got to be very careful. I've heard of people at the show day of the show and they can't get in touch with their coach. I know. <laughs> right. Isn't that, isn't that so it's like the Isn't one day so you crazy? really you need to be in touch with them like constantly that day. You would think. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, you are you're you're a great coach. You care so much for your clients, not just if their success, their health, everything. You know they all consider you friends. I've talked to so many of your clients over the years, and they all have so always great things to say about you. So, but we're talking about blessing today because man, he's the name. He's the man of the hour. He just got his first pro win. He's on the way to the Olympia. He's got a he's going to go to New York Pro in a few days. So could be picking up a back-to-back -back win, but you know, a lot of people will be curious, how did this happen? Because I know you said in the interview we did with, with yourself and Blessing right after the win, you didn't start working with him until early this year. So how did it all come about? Well, you know, he was, he was like, uh, he was doing good. You know, he's training, he's really hungry and stuff. But, uh, you know, finally he was, he was in Dubai and like a couple of, he saw a couple of my guys and they're like, holy crap. How'd you get like full or whatever? Some like, you know, he was asking him and like, he's like, man, George Farah, he was like, oh, you know what, man? He goes, it's so funny how things work because he's been on my radar and I want to ask him because, you know, I worked out with Kai a couple of times and, yeah. you know, and Kai basically is like, listen, man, you know, George, but you know, it, you know, it, it, we're all, we're all adults. You have to make your own decision and stuff, but it's so weird, man. Like we start working together and all of a sudden, like, he's like my little brother. It's like we've known each other forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think this is all about chemistry, like I always talked about, man. You know, if you don't have a chemistry with somebody, it doesn't matter how good of a coach I am or they are. It doesn't matter. But but what I like, Ron, honestly, I, I you probably noticed throughout the years, you know, like every one of my guys, when they came to me, and I'm talking from Kai to Branch to Dexter, they're always when they're done and everybody wrote them off. They're like, oh, yeah, he's done. You know, Kaya seven. Oh, my God. Look at his belly. This boom. Next year, he's second. He could have won. You know, Dexter. Oh, he's done. He should retire. Freaking the most winning pro ever. You know Brent, what I'm Dexter, saying? Right Dexter. Jeez. Yeah. But, but you know what I'm saying? The branch war and they say, oh, he will never, never be in a top five. Bro, it's like we're sitting right now. We have. We have a get together, you know, I don't know if it was MD or who was, I think it was MD. So it was a Chris and a bunch of guys, Chad, and they stopped laughing at me when I told them, I said, listen, Branch is going to be, you know, they're like, wow, I mean, yeah, top 10. I'm like, no, no, you guys don't understand. Whoever stand next to Branch is going to look bad. Yeah. And they're looking, I swear to you, bro, when, you know, in, in, in you know, you can ask, you know, actually Chris Aceto, Chris Aceto always tell you the way it is, right? Yeah. So when Branch was number one, when he walked on the stage, Chris Asiro came to me. He goes, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. He goes, it looks like something, an alien out of the planet, you know, yeah. with, with the lights and stuff. So, you know, I, I like I like real people and everybody, Chad, and everybody came to me like, wow, wow, man. You know, so that's that's what I like, man. And really because it makes it look better, makes it look good and it makes you feel good, you know, as yeah. a coach. So when Blessing contacted me, I said, listen, one thing I can promise you, I don't know who's going to show up or whatever. I said, but I can promise you that I can get the best of your potential out, you know, because we only have like three, four months. I said, that's all what I can do right now. I said, I can, I, he goes, 
what do you think about my, I said, don't worry, your legs are perfect. We just need to keep them there. Yeah. You know, I said, because a lot of people, they do overdo cardio. They do so many things. You know what I mean? They don't understand it. So, so I kept them, you know, training heavy legs all the way. Mm -hmm. Stopped the cardio about, like I said, six weeks out, literally. I mean, this is no joke because I saw him dropping. Like I said, you know, before he was dropping too fast. I'm like, no, I gotta, I back the cardio up. I actually have to add carbohydrate towards the night mm -hmm. because, you know, if like a lot of the people, they don't understand that. When you take, you know, usually for every smart coach, what you do is you start taking the carbohydrate, you know, out of the meal plan towards the night because you're going to go to sleep. You're not going to burn nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that, right. that how, you know, you deplete your glycogen, you get up in the morning. So with him, I actually start had, I, I, I had to make sure he doesn't lose any more. So I start adding carb towards the night. And then like, he couldn't believe it. He goes, bro, I can't believe you're giving me steak. Like, this is like, you know, I said, yeah, bro, I don't want you losing. So we upped his fat, you know, I upped his carbs, dropped the cardio. The guy is like a machine, man. And listen, people used to say like, maybe like I heard it before. Oh, you know, he's lazy or no, bro. That guy is not lazy. That guy work his ass up. He really wants to work. He really wants to improve. And, and honestly, man, I think this is just the beginning because he has such a beautiful, big, tall, you know, structure and physique. You feel that, bro. It's gonna, he's gonna be dangerous for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And kind of what I said when I was talking to DJ, I said, listen, what I can promise you that he will be in an impeccable shape. And he was, you know, we all saw you and me were saying at the, at the show and everybody, as soon as you walked out, they're like, oh my God, that's not the same guy. Yeah. And that's all I want, you know, as a coach, really. Like, you know, like I said, I don't want people to say, oh, he's the best cook. No, that's not what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? I'm looking to people later on on life. They say, man, I'm so glad I met that guy. You know, he made some of my dreams come true. He made me healthy. Those are the things you look for when you're in a coach. Because the bottom line, the bottom line, man, this is the sport I grew up in. This is the sport since I was a kid. I don't know anything better. You know what I'm saying? And I want to make sure we can all keep it going and keep it healthy because we all love that sport. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the thing that's crazy is I've talked to Blessing about this before is he was, he started out a very skinny guy, which most people would have a very hard time believing looking at him now, but he still seems to have that type of metabolism of a skinny guy. Whereas others might assume looking at him, if, if I'm going to coach this guy, he's 300 pounds, I'm going to have to give him two hours of cardio a day. I'm going to have to take him down to 50 grams Bro. of carbs. That's the only way somebody that big could possibly get in shape. But it's, you know, you did quite the You honest. know what's so funny? You want to hear something so funny? Mm. So, you know, let's go back a little bit. Me and Kai Green were doing a show in Ireland, right? Mm. I'm doing a seminar. Kai is guest posing. 2012. 2012 or 13. Something, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, make the story short. Who's in the show? Blessing. Huh. I didn't know that. I don't know who the hell that skinny kid, you know, yeah, yeah. but it's so funny. He showed me a picture. He took it with Kai. And, and that, I'm like, oh my God, you know, like, look at, look at how, you know, the work. He said, bro, I took the picture with Kai. And, and I said, man, you think someday I could be able to be next to him or train with him or, or, you know, like, so it's just weird, man, how like that whole life is in a circle, you know, goes around. And I'm looking at, if you saw, if he, you know, I'm sure I'm going to let him post that picture with Guy. If you see yeah. how he looked, I saw stringy, it, yeah. tall, nothing, you know, yeah. but, but you can tell he's hungry. He's hungry. And, and, and honestly, yeah. like what he said, like me and him talked about it because, you know, Ron, you, you like, like us, we're all human. You know, you have like, you put a post. You got thousands of people, man, praising you, saying good stuff about you. And all of a sudden, one guy mm. is talking like crap about you. And what you do, you leave all the praise and you go to that negative. Right. So I told him, I said, bro, listen to me. This, you got to use as a positive. You know, like all those people, oh, yeah, I bet you he won't even be the top five. Oh, let's see his legs. You know, like I said, bro, don't show nobody your legs. Mm. You know, I said, keep it all, do side shots and stuff. <laughs> I said, just let's tease them. So when they see, they'll be like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, it all worked out really good, man. And, I, and I'm, I'm really, I can say I'm very proud of that guy because, you know, as, as you say, you know, like we said, me and you before, it's not just, you know, like, oh man, he's a great coach. No, the hell with this, bro. The guy did his homework. I was just, like I said, stone in his way to help him build. You know what I'm saying? 
you got to give him all the prop. He's the one to put the 500 pound on his, you know, shoulder and squat. He's the one with the, the, the 600, 700 deadlift. I mean, guys, an animal. So I'm, I'm just, man, I'm blessed and humbled to be part of those champions. Seriously, it's life. It's funny because that you they talk about the, how we didn't show the legs. See, a lot of us thought, and I was, I was one of them. I thought maybe he's hiding his legs. Maybe they're not any better. And he just doesn't <laughs> want people to talk shit before the contest because it's going to bring him down. But yeah, because like I said, the only shot I saw was like, it was a side, you know, the side relaxed. He looked great, but I'm like, what does his quads look like from the front? I, there was not one yeah. picture, not one video yes. where I could really see it. But you know, man, there's always, there was always some behind my madness. You know how I am. <laughs> yeah. you know, I just like to tease. I told him, I said, I really don't want him to put pictures. But I told him, listen, at least do me a favor. Don't show your legs because, bro, I give him a leg workout. Oh, my God. It's a deadly. It's a really a deadly workout. And he did it. He did it day in, day out. He goes, oh, my God. He goes, coach, I've never felt like like that, doing legs. He goes, I want to die. I said, but, dude, that's the only way we're going to keep up heavy, hard. You know, like, of course, high reps. You know, legs, they don't grow on low reps. Yeah. You know, we didn't do anything like crazy. So nothing less than 15 reps. Oh, wow. But really heavy. Yes, yes. And that's mm -hmm. how they grew. You know, it's like I was talking years ago, man. It's like. You remember when a lot of the people, they want to put the gear in their muscle or synthol or whatever. The yep. reason why you do this is for, you know, to get volume in the area. So by you doing high reps to the legs, you know, people don't believe me, but by you doing high, now you eliminate the pain for your back, your, your knees, you know, your ankle. So you really only training muscles. And it's so funny. Like I start looking, I'm like, man, branch always do 20s. Uh, Kai only, always do 15, 20s. Tom Plaz back in the days, he was work out, for, you know, 25s. But 50. you know what? In reality, if you sit down and think about it, that's why these guys have big legs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about doing, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to do five, 600 pounds and do it two, three times. No, that's not how you, you're only training your joint that way. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and he listens to me because, you know, one thing is, you know, uh, you need, you need, the, the athlete to trust his coach you know what i mean mm. and he saw my credential i showed them like how i'm up to date on the studying how human body work how the hormone work how and you know you, you he felt at ease like it was like bro everything dude i'm telling you <clears throat> there is something i'm gonna tell you because he still till now cannot believe it right mm. i told him okay he said, coach, what do you think? You know, he said, man, that's all I need. You know, that little diary. I said, bro, we really, I really don't like to use it. I said, mm -hmm. but mark my word. I said, you're going to wake up tomorrow morning. You're going to look in the mirror. You're not in, even going to believe that's you. Mm -hmm. Because I told him, you know, I put a little sugar in there, you know, and I had honey and stuff so I can sleep. Because he haven't had that, you know, like fast. So he got really good night's sleep. He woke up in the morning, call me, what the fuck? Coach, you got to come, you got to come. So I swear on you can, you know, when you have him on interview, ask him. Yeah. He, he, he took, I said, let's see. He took his clothes on, took his shirt, took his pants. You know what I told him? This is my exact word. I said, bro, put your clothes back on because I saw his like his freaking glutes get separated, everything. The hamstring. I said, I said, that's all. He goes, you don't want to see me posing. I'm like, no, let's, let's save it for the stage. You know what I mean? So that's a good feeling, man. That's so I, you know, like all worked out, you know, perfectly. And we, we just like nailed it. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what I like to do, man. That's what I like. Yeah. It's, it's cool that you talk about his work ethic because you're right. A lot of people, because he has that outrageous personality and he's, he's, he makes these funny videos and yes. you know, Instagram posts, people think he's a clown. He's a goofball. He doesn't take bodybuilding seriously. There's no way that this guy is training hard enough and dieting hard enough. If he's, if he's got that type of personality, but he seems to be able to be like Arnold back in the old days where he can turn it on and turn it off. Where he can be a joker one minute clowning around with the guys. And then yes. a minute later, get under a squat bar with 500 pounds and bang out 20 reps. hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, it, it, it's so funny. Like I was showing him like from everybody, like a lot of, you know, Milos, Milos texts me, you know, he said, because George, I'm going to be honest with you. I would have never in a million years thought he's going to look like this. Hmm. Chris Aceto, Chris Esito's word, I was showing blessing what they're saying, because, you know, those are like my brothers, man. You know, yeah. Chris called me. He said, he said, George, I'm going to be honest with you. And I, you know, I saw a lot of the talk. hype. He goes last year. I said, oh, my God, what a joke, that guy. Mm -hmm. He goes, this has got to be like the best I have ever seen a comeback. He goes, yeah. you know, prop to you. So, you know, like 
hearing it from those guys that have been around, because we're like family at the end. We're family. We're brothers. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, I'm like, you know what, man? It, it's good. It's so funny. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I'm very emotional. You know, like reading just, you know, what Chris and somebody like who's very important, you know, that texting me those things. I swear, bro, I had tears in my eyes. I'm like, oh, my God, bro. Dennis James. Dennis James texted me. He said, an amazing job with blessing. He said, once again, you have proof that you are the best. I mean, mind you, he's helped people. But you know what? He's real. That's what I like about all these guys, man. They're real. People think we have a mastery and we don't like each other or whatever. No, yeah. absolutely not. You know what I mean? Good coach. We love each other, man. The bottom line, honestly, my job is I want to make that sport the best, bro. This is like, I, I feel like this is my calling, you know? Like, I want to make sure everybody's healthy. I want to make sure everybody's good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now... Like I'm really robbing on a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? It's not about how much, it's how smart and what to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to give away any details here, but I, I just want people to know, people assume that all coaches, yourself included, have these guys on mega, mega doses of gear and so forth. You showed me something from a top level person, not going to say the name. Yeah. It was, it was a text message exchange, a screenshot. You know, it was, it, it listed what this guy was using for a week. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. But it was right there. It was I saw his name, your name, back and forth. I was Bro. like, no, I said nobody would believe these amounts. Nobody, because everybody I know doing like regional shows does more than that. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm trying to tell these guys. Mm. Bro, exactly. It's all about, I mean, they forget that. You know, you know, like all of us, the old school people, we talk about like, bro, you need to put the time, you need to go to the gym, bust your butt, <laughs> eat the right food, not just, oh, let's do flexible diet, but you know, I'll take another extra trend and tea tree. Dude, that's not healthy. That's mm. not how you do things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm so glad, you know, you know, Ron, I'm so glad you brought this up because, you know, I trust you. And that's why I showed you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And here's a guy is freaking one of the best. And, and look what I'm giving him. It's nothing. You see what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. even Branch Warren at his prime, you know, when he took second at the Olympia, arguably he could have probably won it too. He was the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I swear, he said, I, I probably somewhere out. He said, I took less than when I took when I was doing the teenage national. <laughs> so, you know what? That makes me feel good, bro, because yeah. it's not about this. And I'm going to tell you why, Ron. You ask me why I don't go crazy about you know, that stuff, yeah. because bro, let's face it. If you take, a lot of people don't understand that, but if you take Edville, for an example, Edville is great if you have addict and stuff, but you need to remember Edville is not going to just hit one receptor, mm -hmm. the pain receptor It's going to hit a lot of other receptors. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Including kidneys. And stuff. So anything you put in your body, there is a consequences. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't like to go crazy. And a lot of people hate on me. Oh, yeah, he's lying and stuff. You know, I mean, some people call me a liar. May God, may God bless their soul. They're gone. But they used to call me a liar. You know, it, it, you guys, we have to push it forward. And there's a lot of youngsters are watching us. Yeah. And like I said, those young people, they think they're invincible. We need to tell them it's not about how much you take. It's how smart you take it, what to do. And I always said, it's like that necklace in your neck. Mm -hmm. If one link is missing, you're not going to have a necklace. And that's why bodybuilding. If you don't eat, if you don't sleep, don't drink a lot of water. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't work out. It, 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 this is, this is all. Then if you want to, you know, sup, you know, uh, put supplements and put uh, gear, that's fine. But that's not what you got to rely on, you know, supplement and gear. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why people don't understand. That's all I'm going to take. Just like hydrolyzed whey or a little branch chain amino or, well, you know, I have this and I have that. I said, bro, they're called supplement. You know why? Because they supplement your diet, not their, their, your diet and the food's going to supplement them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's what we need. We just going to open everybody's brain and let them know, man, that there is life after body, but you know, yeah, well, that's what we're, we're, we're talking about maybe an MD column with that name. Yeah. But uh, yes, <laughs> but, you know, I, I want, I want to know the fact that you've, you've, basically beat death twice that i know of maybe more you got shot four times you got cancer you beat that does that give you a different perspective that you can carry over to these athletes you know because some of them might not be as concerned might not be aware of their own mortality but you are 
you know that life is fleeting. Of course. You know oh how precious. God. You know how precious health is. Ron, of course, man. Of mm. course, I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. You don't think my wife and my kids and my mom and my sister, brothers, my friend, you don't think they love me? Mm. Of course, bro. But I'm the one. You, the sick one who's stuck in the hospital for a year, year and a half, two years, and then out. You know, if people don't, life goes on for the people they care about you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They come stay next to you and stuff, but, but they have to still go to work, go to school, cook the food for, for my other brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all those people I'm calling, those are my family. They're close to me, but their life goes on and I don't accept it any other way, but I'm the one was stuck in, man, day in, day out. I look around. Oh my God, am I really going to make it? What's going on? This, mm -hmm. So that's why, Ron, right now, man, I'm taking it like, uh, you know, like, like, I mean, that's one of the reasons I finished, you know, I, why you think I was doing my doctorate in integrative medicine? Because I want to pay it forward. I want to, I want to, I want to make sure nobody, none of these guys, man, that they think they're invincible, lay in that bed the way I laid. It's not fun, bro. It's mm -hmm. not fun. You. you know what I mean? I mean, I was one of the blessed ones. That I'm still among you guys. I would have been gone and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to suffer? The people that love me, people care about me because when you die, you don't suffer, you're gone. You don't know nothing. So whoever you left behind and the reason why I'm telling you this Ron, mm. because a lot of those guys, they're selfish. You don't, you know, as a bodybuilder, we know when we started, oh, look in the mirror, put your hand outside the window, drive from the summer, you know, to show up. But in reality, you have to think differently, man. You have to think about the people you love and care about. So in order to take care of them, you got to take care of you. You see what I'm saying? And that's all, honestly, what I'm trying to, like, you, to put in everybody. Like I work with his mind and brain. And you know, you know what's so funny and sad, bro? I have so many people unfollowed me unfollowed me because i'm talking about you know against like don't use too much or whatever you you unfollow me god bless you i don't care you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. so yeah it, it's so sad is because you speak the truth and you're trying to keep your people unfollow you and or don't even bother to listen to you yeah whatever whatever he's talking you know it's not let me go see this guy down the street and that gym man he told me to take two thousand milligram at testosterone dude that, that's crazy that's mm -hmm. crazy yeah, you know so it's 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 sad because there's a lot of you know ever since youtube became a big thing we have a lot of youtubers that have fitness channels bodybuilding channels and they claim that they know all the pros and they know what all the pros take and this is what they all take and they all take grams and grams and grams and they all use dnp and they all use synthol you know obviously nobody can know everybody and some of these people i'm sure they know a couple <laughs> pros they don't know all the pros I don't know all, you don't know all the pros and we go to all the damn shows. We've been around forever. Listen to me. Those people, the one they talk a lot of trash, a lot of crap, all what they care about. I want everybody to listen to this. All what they care about, how many followers they have. Mm -hmm. You know how much I care about how many followers they have? Zero. <laughs> exactly. I don't really care. And you know, that's one of the things I like about MD. They don't like the gossip. They don't like all that crap. Mm -hmm. Even that you guys not going to have a lot of followers, but guess what? I know Steve and I know how his mind works. He's all about the love of that sport. And this is what it's all about, bro. It's not about gossip and talk crap. Oh yeah. And those young kids, they love it. Dude, who cares? I don't need those followers. You know, I want to create leaders. I don't care about followers. I want people to take my method and use it on others say, my God, you know what? You really, you don't need that much or you don't need to do two hours of cardio or you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you know, like most of the clients that are watching this, that they work with me, they're so surprised. Like, man, they look at their food. They're like, George, this is so colorful. I'm not used to that. The strawberry, the berries, the lemon juice in the morning, you know, yeah. and they, they don't understand like why. So I explained to them, this is all antioxidant, man. This is all stuff just to, so you can battle up what you're doing to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of people, a lot of coaches, they don't care. Here you go. Take this, take the shot, take that and rice and chicken, rice and chicken, rice and chicken, potato and steak, but you know, that's yeah. not, that's not what life, man, you need the more, I mean, almost every study and everything, you know, like I said, I, I try every day to, to send, you know, on Twitter, my Twitter is at EdGV Farah. I try every day just to, you know, after I read a nice article from Harvard and stuff, because yeah. I joined them, you know, I, I, I just tweet something. So 
to remind people, listen, man, your dad, your mom, doesn't have to be you, your uncle, your aunt, they, they're not young. So if somebody 50 and 60 and 70, tell them, do this, do that. So, but you know what? Almost everything, man, everything match up. Almost every study, it's all about the more colorful your food, the better it is for you. You know what I'm saying? It's so funny. I just tweeted something. It's like, there's not one food that is going to help you. Because a lot of people, they just get, oh my God, I heard the kale is great or the spinach. Listen, one food is not going to help you. So you got to make it variety and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm trying to do, Ron. Honestly, man, I just, I just want to help people out. Yeah. Well, you've, I, I know you had a very long weekend. So I'm going to give you one last question. People were talking, uh, asking, you know, what do you think? How is he going to do at the Olympia? This and that. We don't know that, but you are, you're an excellent judge of physiques. You've been around forever. You have the eye. When you look at Blessing, what would you like to see improved from now until the Olympia to give him his best chance of a really high placing? You know, I want to see his back hamstring is a little better, you know, lower back tighter, yeah. you know, and overall fuller, you know, like a little more peak on the biceps, you know, I, I neck and pit. But to. in reality, man, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if this guy, what he did with me, like blew my mind in three, four months. Yeah. Oh my God. You give me a year in that guy. I'm telling you, he's going to be like, almost like when Kai Green <laughs> walked on that freaking New York pro stage. And, you know, I remember Mr. Mannion. I love that man. You know, the, the, the head of our whole organization. Yeah. I swear he turned around. He goes, what the hell did you do to that guy? You know what I mean? He looked like an alien out of this, you know, so yeah. that's, you know, I think, I think that could be blessing, man. Honestly, you just give us time, you know, to fill up that beautiful, nice, beautiful frame, classic. I mean, this is really nice. And he's not missing anything from calves to top. Like I said, we just got to like knit and pick. That's the stuff, you know, yeah. I talked about. I, mean, I would like to do a lot of thickness on the chest, arms, you know, like everything. It's just like everybody else. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. You had only four months with him from, and the changes he made in those four months, if we could make that if you can make that many changes again at the, from now to the Olympia, it's, it's going to be another different. It's going to be three blessing 3.0. And, and that's honestly, that's what I'm looking for. And what I like about him is, you know, like he's, he trusted in me, man. And like, this is, we're talking about six, seven weeks before the show, you know, he, he kept calling me, he goes, coach, I have never in my life felt that good. Or look that good. I said, bro, because you're not poisoning yourself, mm. you know? Yeah. And, and I'm being honest with you. Literally, about five, six weeks ago, he said he already blew the condition he's ever been all his life. Wow. So, so I was just, that's why I stopped the cardio and everything. So, and if, if you see what we use, bro, we really didn't use any fat burner. And like I said, you know, the most he ever did, 35 minutes of cardio, but you know why? Because he was in decent shape. He wasn't really like, you know, like people thought, oh man, he's so, you know, terrible and stuff. I mean, in reality, we only lost about like 15, 20 pounds for a show. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and that's why he looked like, like that 3D and, and, you know, a lot of people I was telling them, they said, man, he looked good, but I know he could be better. I said, listen, let me tell you something. You seeing something on pay-per-view and online, it's not like the way you see when he walked out. Yeah. When he walked on the stage, me, you, all the judges looked like, holy shit, this guy. Because you can see the fiber, you can see the lines, everything was right on. And, and yeah. you know, and I was honestly, I'm blessed, like I said, man, to be part of those, you know, beautiful gentlemen's career, you know, because they, they're the one who's doing the work. Yeah, uh, you know, you're, you're just, you're, got, you're, you're so good at these comebacks with people that have been written off, that Dexter's done, I love that. Kai's done, Branch is done, and they come back and it's their best look ever after they start working with you in many cases. So. I, I love that, bro. I love that. And, you know, and, and what I love the most is like Dexter. Dexter, for an example, he called me every, every other day or some. His wife, like Kai, he sent me a message or he called me. He's like going to India, whatever, China. Hey, you think it's okay, man, if I eat this? I'm like, bro, you're not dieting for sure. But I mean... I love the closeness. Branch, bro, you see, I mean, you know, every time I put a comment or somebody, Branch goes out there, you see what he said, man, you're the best, you know, you're the best. So we're like family, man. We're like family. That's what I love. That's what I love about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time, George. I'll see you in just a few days again. Yes. Blessings, blessings going for that back-to-back -back 
Indy Pro, New York Pro win, which would be awesome because last year, those are the same two shows he did. And, uh, you know, people wrote him off after those two shows. So to come back and win those two shows that people were talking crap last year, that would just be a, like something out of a movie. It would be awesome. Yes, yes, wait. yes. And this is honestly, that's what we're looking for. You know, I mean, the, the guy sent me pictures today. I, 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 I'm not even going to exaggerate. He looked better than he looked at the show. Wow. And this is taking all the carb down because I don't want him to blow up. Yeah. He's, he's tight. He's happy. He's like, bro, I'm full of energy. I can't believe it. This, you know, and, and I'm actually, you're going to be, you know, surprised. I'm working with other people now because of that show and other people for New York Pro. So they're going to be on my team, but yeah. we'll say it then. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, again, we'll see you this Saturday at the New York Pro. Guys, check out our coverage at musculadevelopment.com and on this YouTube channel. You can see uh, George's clients, including Blessing Awodibu. I got to say it right. I mean, I've, I've been messing it up lately. I don't know why. But uh, that's it. Thank you so much for taking the time, George. Appreciate it. My pleasure, it bro. Much. Anytime. Anytime. Anything for you guys. That's it. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share the video. Hit the notification bell. Do all that good stuff. We appreciate it. This has been the Ron Line Report with the pro maker, George Farah. We'll see you next time. Thanks, brother.